Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great. Hope you're having a great weekend and uh, welcome to this new Ethereum video. I uh, wanted to do a quick update after yesterday we did manage to find some support and even some bullish momentum. Not as much as Bitcoin though, but we, we recovered a bit from that uh, 1820 and 1840 level. Uh, so I just wanted to give you my thoughts on that. Can we actually continue this bullish momentum? Can we get some sort of a bullish breakout? What to expect next week? Uh, basically everything um, you, you need to know on the short term about Ethereum, at least in my eyes. Um, so that's what we'll do. Before we get into that, though, if you want to receive daily trading signals from me, uh, check out the links down in the description or the pinned comment, and there you'll find instructions on how to join that group. Um, but now on, to, uh, now on to Ethereum. So purely technically, I mean, I would say short term, we are still very bearish. I mean, even, even though we are experiencing some bullish momentum now, uh, first of all, we respected the 200 EMA, so we, we confirmed a bearish break retest and we confirmed a bearish breakout. And altogether, I mean, I, I definitely do think it's possible to get some uh, recovery today so that we can get, get up a bit more. But then at around 1895, you'll start encountering a lot of resistance levels with the 236 FIB. Um, around 1940, there's even more resistance. So at the very most, we, we spike up there, but at this point of time, uh, I do not think we can break above that. Now, that's a little bit of a risky thing to say because um, the Sunday afternoon is usually uh, the moment that kind of institutions and, and wheels start buying rapidly or selling rapidly. Um, so if all of a sudden you see a huge bullish move uh, happening and a quick one, right, so that you actually see the price going up on the 15 minute time frame rapidly, um, and then we get to 1940, then that might be the case that we break above that, all right? That's a possibility. I'm just telling you because it's it's realistic and it's a possibility. I'm not expecting it, all right? I, I just, if, if you see the price like rocketing, something like this, so if you, see, if, if you see a move like this, then don't sell at 1940, all right? But in, in normal market circumstances, which I do assume will happen, it's um, it's not a big week next week. We, we have like the PCE price index on Friday. Uh, we have initial jobless claims on Thursday and new home sales on Tuesday, but altogether not a huge week. Uh, dollar strength index is not moving a lot. So I do not expect that. I think it's more likely uh, to, like I said, that we will actually get some more recovery today uh, but that we will stop around 1900, 1920, and then from there drop back down to our current support levels. And then uh, tomorrow we'll see, because still uh, no, it doesn't matter if we get big moves or not, that Sunday to Monday transition um, always is uh, it, always has a time frame in, in which we get some some confirmation for the uh, for for the movement for the rest of the days. So for now, I think we can get some bullish momentum on the short term, but I do not think we can get any bullish breakouts. And then tomorrow we'll see whether we can actually hold 1830, because at this point of time, I still think the most likely scenario is that we will at some point break down below that 1820, 1840 level, and that will drop down towards this level around 1720. That's still what I expect on a little bit more of the long term. But um, as I said, we'll see today. It's uh, Sunday is always a very unpredict unpredictable um, and, uh, and volatile day. So um, I'll see you again tomorrow. But for now, enjoy your weekend. Take care. Bye.